So if you think you have a bad purge valve in your vehicle, I thought I'd go over five of the main symptoms of a bad purge valve and how you go about telling if it is bad or not. And I'm gonna put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But first of all, what is the purge valve? Well, the purge valve is part of the EVAP system. And what this does is it takes gas vapors from the gas tank and they get sent back into the engine and get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. It's for emissions. And the purge valve is part of this system. It sits up on top of the engine and all it does is it just opens when the engine's running so that the gas vapors can go into the engine and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so that they don't escape. And so it's a pretty simple little device. It's just a valve that opens and shuts. And so the first symptom of a bad purge valve is going to be the check engine light's going to come on. And the check engine light can be caused by numerous things so the only way you could tell if it is the purge valve or the evap system is that the onboard computer is going to need to be scanned for the error codes and so there's a few ways you go about doing this there's a lot of low-cost obd2 scan tools that can read the codes a lot of automotive stores will scan a vehicle for free be sure to call around first to see if there's a automotive store inside of your area that scans for free but most do and basically what a scan tool will do is just scan the onboard computer it'll give you an error code and then it'll point to the problem so for example like a p0441 one, a P0442 or a P0443. This will point to an EVAP system problem, which can go be examined at that point. And a purge valve is a common failure inside the EVAP system. But the first thing is that the check engine light will come on. And next up is going to be that the vehicle will fail an emissions test. And so if you took your vehicle in for an emissions test and it failed, then it's very possibly a bad purge valve, although it could be other things. So it'll have to be troubleshooted to know why it failed an emissions test. But the purge valve is a part of the EVAP system, which is part of emissions. So if it fails, then you'll fail an emissions test. And next up is going to be that the engine idles badly. And this is really going to vary and it's going to depend which part of the purge valve was failed. For example, if the valve gets stuck open, it could cause a vacuum leak on the engine. Since the purge valve has a hose that directly goes into the intake manifold, it can sometimes cause a vacuum leak, and in that case, it can cause the engine to idle badly. Of course, the valve can also be stuck closed, and in this case, the engine went idle badly, but the purge valve would still be bad. So there's some different scenarios that can happen, depending if it's stuck open or if it's stuck shut. But if the purge valve is stuck open, it could cause a vacuum leak, which can cause the engine to idle badly. And next up is going to be long start times after you fill up. And again, this is going to vary whether the purge valve stuck open or shut but if the purge valve is stuck open in some cases when you're filling up with gas the gas vapors will feed into the intake manifold since the valve is open and then when you go to start it all those gas vapors is going to throw off the air fuel ratio gas mixture and then it's going to take a little longer to start and so again it's going to vary if that valve is stuck closed then it could have failed but not caused this problem but if it is stuck open then it can cause this problem in some vehicles and so number four is going to be long start times after you fill up and last up on the list is going to be the fuel mileage is worse than usual and it won't be hugely worse and so it won't be getting very very bad gas mileage but if it's just getting slightly worse gas mileage than usual then it could be a bad purge valve and this is mainly because the evap system while it's mainly for emissions the gas vapors do add a little bit to the mileage of a vehicle since they get sent back into the engine and get burnt off and so if you are getting a little bit worse gas mileage than usual not anything huge but just slightly worse then it could be a bad purge valve since the purge valve is a part of the evap system and so that's basically it i just wanted to go over five symptoms of a bad purge valve i did a video on how you go about testing a purge valve if you want to check that out i'll put a link to that in the side of the description below but that's basically it if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day